You got Wang. Mr. Wang, it is getting late. I said I'd have it to you by 5.30. It's not even 4. You have been chosen for this job specifically. Keeping it secure in transit may be... challenging. Also, be aware that the Temple of Longing has been... Mm, occupied of late. You want me to pick up extra balloons, too? I know how the Aquas are get if everyone doesn't get a balloon. Good day, Mr. Wang. get any more ugly, I'm gonna have to start killing you blindfolded. Oh, how nice, for me? Thugs with their faces so ugly, stomping on demons who want all that snuggly, shooting at nightmares that fly with their wings. These are a few of my. F You guys, you need directions? Just take a sharp left through my sword and keep on going. Oh, yeah! Nice work. You deserve a hand for that. Mushiheka may be a cold-blooded sociopathic mob boss, but she knows how to decorate. Hello? Hello? Jeez, is this a party or was there a toxic spill? Perhaps you will realize her destiny. Fascinating. Oh, you'll get your chance. I see. There has been an incident, Mr. Wang. Smith, what are you doing here? You work for this beat? Nice lady, too? I am in no one's employ but my own. You two know each other? Smith is my mechanic. Fix my car a few dozen times. I am here on personal business. Kamiko has gone missing. The birthday girl. Does that mean no cake? It's gonna mean no balls for you if you don't shut your yammering mouth. Oh, I see what's going on. The big boss's daughter got lost on your watch. Do I smell a beheading? More importantly, do you think they'll sell tickets? I'm afraid the situation is quite serious. For some time, she's been worried that Zilla has found her out. 
and today she was due at my garage at four. She is never late. <laughs> whoa, 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 rewind. Zilla? Orochi Zilla? Yes. She was working in his labs. Undercover. Oh, he doesn't like that kind of thing. I am organizing a rescue mission. Zilla's security is legendary. They wouldn't get past the front desk. And what would you suggest? Go in quiet. You send one guy, preferably one that knows his way around. Are you offering your services? Depends on what you're paying. 100,000. Cash. Ah, that should please my accountant. I still have a few old badges and a couple fakes. I can get in and at least tell you what you're dealing with. Go then, find out what happened. Bring her back if you can. Back here? No. This is the first place they'll look. Take her to... I have a secluded location you may use. Okay then, take her to the old man's place. Bring her to my garage, I'll meet you there. What do you want me to do with this? I can give it to her. When I see her. Lo Wang? Yes. Don't fuck this up. If she dies, they'll be picking your fingertips out of my gardens for weeks. Lady sure knows how to motivate her workforce. Intimidation is the tool of the fearful heart. Hey, it beats being the fool of the tearful fart. That's deeply stupid. But it's true. Fair enough. Get out of here! Starting to feel like a goddamn babysitter. But you know what? Babysitters make good money. Welcome to the shiny, happy future. <laughs> hey, one, it's just so hard to find a good forger these days. Note to self, kill your fucking forger. Oh, hello, new ammo friends. You ready to kill some people? The future just keeps getting futurier. <sighs> Room's locked. Bulletproof glass, too. I wonder if that's... Ah, oh, Kamiko. My star pupil. Yeah, of course it's her. Come now, come now, calm yourself, my dear. Let you go? I'm afraid I can't do that, my dearest. It would spoil our grand experiment, and you always loved experiments. Before we embark on this grand adventure, there's something I should say. I am deeply in your debt, young lady. I would never have achieved all that I have without your help. The lab just won't be the same without you to steal from. <coughs> Proceed. God damn it, Zilla. I knew you were into some twisted shit. This is a whole other level. That's strange. What's happening? Is she all right? Someone check her vitals. Pulse is normal, sir. Untie her gag. I don't want her suffocating. We need her to be... Flies carry on the stench of death. Oh my. Now this is getting interesting. Oh shit. Bulldoze bodies. Open sores. Dismember children. Secure the room. I need to examine her in person. I'm on my way. Yes, sir. Hey, you guys know a good Mexican place around here? What? Get him! One, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one, thirty-four, fifty-five. Hey, spooky number lady. I'm gonna get you out of here. I just need you to... I am the graveyard of hope. I am the end of all times. I am the shadow of the world. Indokasila Boshina. God damn, girl. 
to it, thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. I am the filth under your nails. I am the oil that stains your soul. I am despair made manifest. Okay, so this is probably a terrible idea, but I'm sort of out of options here. Uh, I'm gonna untie you. When I do, please don't eat my face. I'm a friend, okay? Friend! <laughs> All right, here we go. And my face remains uneaten. Gonna put that one in the plus column. Up you go. Come on. Take it easy there. You're doing really well with the non-face eating. Now, where's the emergency exit? Fuck, Zilla. This place is a fire hazard if I've ever seen... Oh, hello, ladies. What's that? You're trapped in a glass box? Oh, that's good. How many years did you spend in mime school? <laughs> Listen, I would love to stay and catch up, but I've got this possessed girl and she's... <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> Kids today, right? Smith! Kamiko! What happened? They shot her up with some kind of serum, and she went like this. Follow me quickly. Through here. I hope I can trust you. Whoa. What is this place? This is my other workshop. Holy pieces of sacks of shit. Where did you get all these swords? I made them. They are my family's trade. But there is no time to explain. Lay her down here. Okay. There. Now, wait here for a moment. Wait here? Oh, not a problem. I'll just hang out here while Linda Blair pukes blood out of her eyeballs. I know, I know, I don't like it any more than you do. Can I, uh, go now? Unless we act quickly, she will die. Who's this we, white man? Excuse me? <sighs> okay, okay. What, what do you need me to do? I need a place for her to stay. I have a futon she can sleep on. It's also my couch, but it's clean. But shit, you have this place. Why can't she just stay here? I need a soul she can co-locate with. You need a... Her body has been corrupted. If I do not separate her soul from it in the next few minutes, it will become corrupted as well, and she will be gone forever. That is pretty fucked up. Once her soul is removed, we can fix her body. And then she can re-enter it. But in the meantime, I need a place to keep it. Her soul. Seriously. I did something like this once before, and it did not end well. In truth, you are my only option. Well, keep it in your soul, then. I can't. I'm performing the ritual. Oh, there's rules. That's convenient. She's too far gone. I have to start. I'm not getting paid enough for this shit. I am the night's mirror. What are you doing to her, old man? Shit, it's blood across the sky. Are you ready? Ready? Ready for what? Hello? Uh, who is that? It's me. Um, Kamiko? The girl from Zilla Labs. Yeah. The one I rescued? I'm not sure. I don't remember much. Where are you? I don't know. Where are you? I'm not sure. Everything got so loud, and it all went black. Well, have you tried opening your eyes? It actually hadn't occurred to me. Are you okay? Smith! I'm fine. I just... Where am I? Kamiko, are you okay? She's all right. She just told you. Wait, this is the weirdest... Is this my body? Wait, are these my fingers? Wait, who's talking? I didn't hear anything. In my head, I keep hearing... In your head? Am I... Can you hear me? Is she... Okay. I think it worked. Kamiko's soul has been temporarily placed in your care. Are, Are you, you serious? serious? It's really rather miraculous. That's not the word I would have chosen. I'm riding shotgun with this dimwit. Do you understand, Kamiko? Everything is going to be all right. Oh, <laughs> Right, sure. I mean, this day's been fantastic so far. I lost my job, and then my boss tried to kill me, and now I'm stuck inside the head of some wannabe ninja! She's great. How long do we have to do this for?
This is so strange. I'm in here, seeing through your eyes, but I'm also asleep back in Smith's dojo. I can feel myself with my eyes closed. I wonder if I can... <clears throat> Wiggle my... Don't pull a muscle. <clears throat> Would it kill you to let me concentrate for a second? You think it's easy sharing your mind with someone? I don't think I can move my body at all. Just so long as you can't move mine. Yes, sir, Captain Krusty, sir. At ease, soldier. Saw you, Hideo? Master Wang! It is a pleasure to meet you. I've heard a lot about you. <laughs> all good, I hope. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Fucking kids. Hey, what's going on, Hideo? The usual. Training. Vigilance. I've taken over the Kung Fu sessions for Master Smith while he works on a cure for Kamiko. Nice. Sounds like fun. It's work. We have to be ready at any moment. For what, exactly? Justice never rests. Well, you're a serious young fellow. I'd say you remind me of me, except you're about as far from me as humanly possible. Thank you, sir. I'm not sure how to take that. Master Smith asked me to show you some of the chi techniques we have developed here. With your training, they should be elementary. Fire away. I'm always up for new and better ways to fuck shit up. Lo Wang. How are things with your new roommate? Oh, you know, it's great as long as she keeps her mouth shut. I have to ride around in this cesspool of your mind all day and not talk about it? I wish I had skin so I could crawl out of it! You pompous, oversexed idiot! She agrees. Mm, I very much doubt that. Please, treat her with respect and kindness, Lo Wang. She is very dear to me. Oh look, someone with manners. Shocking. I'm sure you two will find a way to put aside your differences in the name of the greater good. If by greater good you mean me getting my money, then I heartily agree. Money is an illusion used to hypnotize small minds. But it sure helps when you're trying to buy a bottle of good whiskey. Ugh. I need four things. First, a demonic rod. Then the skin of a large mammal. And some raw chi crystals. They can usually be found near black brain pools. Careful, though. The pools are what seems to be causing the mutations in the animals out there. Maybe I'll pick up some dinner while I'm at it. I would not recommend eating them. I'm doomed. I will also need golden chrysanthemum. The vendors in the marketplace usually have them. Wow, crystals and flowers. Hey, dudes, we going to harmonize our resonances and use them to levitate the Pentagon? <laughs> Something like that. Come on, the sooner I have these materials, the sooner I can get Kamiko back where she belongs. All right, all right, back in a jiff. Larry, how's it hanging? You know this guy? Old friend. You always make me smile, Lo Wang. No, wait, that's not it. You always make me fart. That's what it was. <laughs> that hurts, Larry. You know, you're a real demon, you know that? That's what my mama always told me. What can I do for you? I actually have a very special request today. I need a golden chrysanthemum. Ooh, specialty item. Very hard to find. Come on now, Larry. I know you're holding, and you owe me one. It's a fair cut. Yakuza mess with you anymore? They still give me dirty looks from time to time, but there hasn't been an incident since you put the fear of Wang in them. I did do that, didn't I? And I do owe you one. Here, on me. Bring your wallet next time. Okay. Hey, thanks for this. Thank you. You saved my business, made me my life. Hey, let's not get weepy about it. I don't want you to start spitting acid everywhere. Racist! Demon! Big kiss. Ew. That demon's name is... Larry? Wow, his real name is unpronounceable. He wanted some... Car, sweet car. Is this our only transportation option? What, you got a better idea? Sorry, I'm just used to... What? Teleporting? Actually, you're not far off. What? I figured it out when I was training with Smith. It was an accident. You accidentally teleported. 
When I calm my mind, I can see these statues. And if I focus on one, it sort of pulls me to it. In the real world? How? I have no idea how it works, but I've been doing it for the past year. <sighs> no wonder Smith took an interest in you. Here, close your eyes. I'll show you. You've got... <clears throat> Wang speaking. Has Kamiko's condition improved? Like she cares. Not exactly, but we're working on it. And are you integral to her recovery? I... Uh, I'm not sure it... Good, come to my office. I have something I need done. Will it involve getting paid this... You know, she's a treasure. Lo Wang, I didn't expect you back so soon. Funny how efficient you can be when there's someone in your head yelling at you all the time. Do you have a problem with efficiency? So you and Kamiko are getting along then? I wouldn't call it getting along so much as getting through. Enough chatting, let's get on with it. The rock doesn't choose the river, nor the river the rock. Yet neither would exist without the other. Tell him to lay off the cryptic wisdom and make my stupid potion already. Kamiko says you're full of shit. Oh, I doubt that very much. Okay, she said to lay off the cryptic wisdom and make the stupid potion already. That's my girl. My items, please. There you go. Oh, and hey, Kamiko had a question. What was that thing her dad got her? It is a spirit well. An extremely powerful artifact. Uh, say what now? It is like a container. Only it can hold a person's soul. Wait, seriously? Why can't I live in there instead of with this idiot? She wants to know why you didn't put her in there. It would not be a good idea. Once you have entered a spirit well, you will never emerge. Oh, so it's like a Comic-Con. This is a complex operation. It's going to take me some time. Check back with me when you can. I need you to figure out what that little shit was working on. She sent regular reports, but I think she was holding out on me. Uh, of course I was holding out on you, you evil bitch. <laughs> What's so funny? Ah, uh, nothing. Private joke. I need you to go to her apartment in the city and bring me anything you can find that looks like science. Notebooks, lab equipment... Sounds like it requires a lot of initiative. Listen, you cocky piece of shit. I hired you to protect a very expensive piece of merchandise. You brought her back broken. Until she's fixed, your ass belongs to me! If I say I want a human bird feeder, you start shoving crumbs up your ass! Ah, uh, that's colorful. I'm just used to jobs that require more chopping and less hauling. Oh, you'll get your chance. Zilla's gonna have her place staked out with some serious muscle. Damn. I mean, wonderful. Have fun, you miserable piece of shit. Love you too, sweetie. Man, she is a charmer, huh? Sometimes I fantasize about her being slowly eaten alive by ants. It's comforting. <laughs> Remind me to stock up on borax.
Okay, where's the stuff we need? Oh, I don't keep any of that here. First place they'd look. What are you talking about? We spent all this time breaking in here, I got blood all over my shirt. Why would we- I really wanted a cup of tea. You wanted a- I like tea, okay? Wait, you have tea here? Where the hell did you get tea? Zilla knows a guy. It's one of the perks. Can you put the kettle on? Look, I don't think we have time for that. Where are your notes? If I tell you, will you make me a cup of tea? No! I'm tired of this shit. I'm not your personal valet. Now where are your stupid notes? I gave them to Zing for safekeeping. Zing? Like, head in a box, Zing? You know someone else named Zing? He's the only person with any honor in Zilla's organization. Person might be stretching it, but you make a fair point. <laughs> Wait, you know him? We met once. A long time ago, before he was on TV. I never expected him to go work for Zilla. Hey, you did it. I did it. We all make our choices. Guess so. Let's go see the big lug. What about my tea? No time now. At least bring it with you. Maybe Zing will have a kettle. Oh, and we should bring my keycard. Sure. Otherwise, how will they know we're visiting? You think I'm an idiot? This is the card I hacked. Full access, full anonymity. Okay, that is impressive. And pioneering chi tech isn't? I can't win with you. Hmm, you shouldn't try. Wow, wow, wow. If it isn't my favorite corporate shill. Lo Wang? How wonderful! I haven't seen you in ages. My goodness, you seem chipper. You'd be amazed what access to total media surveillance will do. Destroy your faith in humanity? Exactly! It's really quite amusing. It's like reality TV, only, you know, real. How did you get in here? Oh, I had a word with the guards. Sorry, I always mess that up. I had a sword with the guards. <laughs> Now that sounds like the old Lo Wang. Does Zilla know about this? This is strictly on the QT. I'm actually here for a friend, a, uh, a Miss Kamiko. Kamiko? How is she? I was worried about her the last time we chatted. Seemed nervous. Tell him I'm fine. She's okay. Been through a rough patch, but hanging in there. She sent me to get her notebooks. Well, now this is awkward. She gave me very specific instructions not to give them to anyone. Come on, Zing! You know me! My point exactly! How do I know you're really here on her behalf and not just trying to sell her research to the highest bidder? Because, ah, uh, because... Okay, this is gonna sound silly, but... She's actually inside my head. Come again? Her... Uh, body got corrupted and her soul was sick? I, I don't really understand it, to tell you the truth. All I know is she's in here. That is ridiculous. Yes, it is ridiculous. It would make a wonderful TV show, though. I think so. If it were true, but you can't be. Tell him I have to miss 4 o'clock club today. She wants me to tell you she's going to miss 4 o'clock club today. She... The... My word. What the fuck is Four O'Clock Club? Kamiko used to come by every Friday at four. We'd drink tea and watch... Jackie Chan movies. How oh, that is adorable. You proved your point. The drives have tracking chips in them. I'll send you the chip IDs that will tell you where to find them. See, you're the best. I wish you had a body right now so I could hug it. You mean the one you chopped up and tossed off a cliff? Um, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I'm not sure I'm in the market for hugs right now. Fair enough. Come here, you pussies! I don't think I'll ever get used to G-Tech. Let me guess. 
In your day, you had to walk 20 miles to school in the snow, and candy bars cost a nickel. But you couldn't just buy cheap powers from a dealer on the corner, or power your car on it for crap's sake. That bothers you? It's cheap. I studied for decades before I could move chi at all. Now I can't walk down the street without some asshole trying to levitate. I think you just don't like other people being powerful. I think I just believe in hard work. Whatever, old. What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, hold it, hold it. Do not give her that one. Why not? That one has my actual research in it. And the rest of these are just idle doodling? Hmm? Worth about as much. In this business, you can't be too careful. There's always someone trying to steal your work. Um, yeah, about that. You know I'm only doing this because... <sighs> it's fine. Just make sure you give her the fakes. And what about this one? That one, we destroy. I don't even want to think about what would happen if that fell into the wrong hands. Well, she may look stupid. Hey! But she knows how to write, Fancy. Is this everything? I brought everything that wasn't nailed down. I think one of them might even be her dream journal. <sighs> I hope not. I don't want to know what that thing dreams. Probably of money, like everyone else. Speaking of which... Of course. Your fabulous booty. But be ready. I may need you again soon. <laughs> I'll see if I can fit you into my schedule. I have another job for you. Awesome. Am I working another birthday? The last one went so well. I need you to gather intelligence. Oh, but you and intelligence don't appear to be on speaking terms. Oh, zing. Very cute. What do you need, Mom? We're trying to find the source of the black ooze that's permeating the wildlands. We believe it may be coming from one particular area. And that area is? It doesn't have a name. I'm sending you coordinates now. I can't wait. Good luck, Mr. Wang. Holy Nelly birds, what the fuck? What do you think it is? Oh, I know exactly what it is. Those are the outer gates. This must be where they emerged into our world after the collision. And shit, look at this. You know what this is? Nope, but I have a feeling you're going to... Jesus, on. Who's messing? Oh, just a god. No big deal. Ooh, do I get to hear another story about how awesome you are? Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. You know what? I'm not gonna tell you. I don't think you're God, I... We're super awesome at until his ass exploded? Something like that. Hey! Freak show! Long time no ass kicking! Oh... No, Wang. Have you come by to gloat at my meager circumstances? Well, it wasn't my original plan, but now that I'm here, why not? It'll be like old times. I'm not sure why I thought I'd get sympathy from you. Some naive thought that you would grow up one day. Yeah, keep dreaming. Looks like your old stomping ground poked through into our world. How's it feel to be on my turf? I have tried to accept the situation with as much dignity as I can muster. 
<laughs> hey, zero is a start. Why are you still hanging around here? I am tasked with guarding the gates. The collision did not change that fact. I was sent to find out where the ooze is coming from. Looks like you have a little seepage problem there. If certain parties had not taken it upon themselves to disturb the gates, we should not be in this predicament in the first place. Oh, you mean my brilliant strategy to distract you while I kicked your ass? You don't comprehend the forces you're dealing with. If it were not for me, the gates would have opened that day. Humanity would have perished if not for my sacrifice. All right, you're secretly a good guy. Slip my mind. To seal them again, I attacked him. It was some serious battlefield improvisation. It's a fine line between brilliant and cowardly. Hey, a win is a win. He was trying to kill me. Do you ever wonder about the fact that you're the hero of all the stories you tell? I mean, come on. How likely is it that you are always... Uh, sorry, I gotta take this. <sighs> Loeng, please return here with all haste. Zilla's men are invading the village. I believe they're looking for chemical. Your assistance would be appreciated. Damn. I'll be right there. We have to get back there. Now. No shit, lady. Teleport us already. Okay, just let me get a lock on... Oh. That's weird. I can't... I can't feel the statues in town. It's like they're not there. Doesn't matter. Just get us anywhere close. Okay. Nearest spot is... Um... It's gonna be a hike. Out of the possible, lady. Out of the possible. Whoa. That is a lot of soldiers. When was the last time you saw a man up on an explorer? Surprise. Oh, sorry I messed up your plans. Hey, this is more than what you're hiding out. I have to be positive. I don't want you to do that. Especially what Zilla's interested in. Don't worry. From the looks of this, I won't be your problem much longer. Get us there quickly, or I can get us there alive. Quality mayhem takes time, you know. Hideo, what's happening? Zilla's men were heavily armed, but we fought them off. Unfortunately, Master Smith was gravely wounded. No, no. Gravely? Ah, uh, was Zilla's men? Go to him quickly. He says it is important. I must go and guard the entrance. Stay alive, Hideo. That is the idea, sir. Kamiko! Anybody home? Oh. You okay? I don't... Oh... It was like... It was like being stabbed by a thousand fiery knives. Oh, shit. Was it the same stuff they shot you up with before? I think so. What's your body doing now? My body? My body? My body, I can't feel it. I can't feel it at all. 
Oh, this is bad. Yeah, thanks for the update, Captain Obvious. Oh, no. This could be a problem. Ah, good to see you. Both of you. What happened? Kamiko's body went and mutated and broke free. It was... It was raging. Incoherent. It came after me, but... I couldn't bring myself to harm her. Wait! I killed him?! Try not to move. I'll get help. The Yakuza must have some. <laughs> I have tried. This wound is imbued with some sort of dark potency I am helpless to resist much longer. Indeed, I... I believe I have reached the... the end of my road. No! Smith! He can't hear you. Then let me speak through you! I don't know. Listen, there is... there is something we must do. The cure is complete. I... <coughs> Fetch me the flask from the... <coughs> from the library. Hello, young ones. This is an auspicious moment. I have completed my final meditation. Let me talk to him. What do we need to do with the flask? Keep it safe until you can find a way to administer it to Kamiko's body. It will heal her. Then you will need a chi bender to reverse the soul binding. <laughs> Ritual. I need to talk to him now! I'm a chi bender. You cannot perform it on yourself. Let me guess. I'll go blind? Your soul will discorporate and become a wisp adrift in the ether. I don't think you'd like it. Oh, you mean like... Will you let me talk? Okay, okay, Smith. Kamiko wants to speak with you. I'm not really sure how this is going to... Smith? Whoa. Like that, I guess. Yes, child. You can't, can't die. die. I'm afraid you are mistaken. You, you showed me, me that I was, I was worth, worth something. And, and that, that I could fight to become, become something, something more. I only saw what was already there. <coughs> it is a rare occurrence when one person can truly help another. That is the gift you <coughs> have given me. What, what will I do, do without, without you? you? What you would have done with me. Leave here. Become yourself. Save the world, most likely. Do not shrink from greatness, child. Breathe into it. Become it. You need not find your path. It has been beneath your feet all the time. Now, to the amulet. A spirit well. But, wait. wait. There is no more waiting for me. In this way, I can remain on your path a few moments longer. I will always love you. And I you, my child. As for you, Lo Wang. Yeah? Look after my students, if you can. Easy on the dick jokes, okay? Shit. I hope I have the strength to go out like that when my time comes. You... You jerk! Me? What did I do? He wasted his last words on you! I prefer to think that he spent them on me. If you ever make another dick joke, I will... Is that me? Either that or someone hit Bigfoot's Prozac prescription.
sure. Oh, that's uh, inconvenient. You idiot! You let me get away. Easy with the insults, lady. Let's not forget who's driving this bus. Oh, believe me, I remember. Okay, so let's just. Okay, let's go. Where? Anywhere but here. Oh, Wang. It has been too long. Hermiona? Is that you? What you see is but a reflection. I am in my temple. Hey, listen. I'd love to catch up, but I kind of have the entire world up my ass right now. Can we, um... Come. Take refuge with us. We will succor you. Excuse me? It is the least I can do for my brother's dear companion. Actually, that sounds pretty good right about now. It is settled then. Look for me between my mountains. In the valley where the sun does not shine. Farewell for now. Dude. What? Her. I knew she was an idiot from the papers, but that gave me full body douche chills. You don't have a body. Details. She's a freak. And she was hitting on you. So, we have a little history. I don't see what choice we have. She's offering us refuge. She's offering us a one-way ticket to Creeperville. Good thing you're not driving. <laughs> well, I'll be, if it isn't my old pal fuckface. Amiona says you're to come inside. What, no metal detector? Guess you don't need those when you're immortal. You are on sacred ground. I would appreciate it if you could respect that. And I would appreciate it if you choked on a peanut. We all have different struggles. Come on, open up. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Lo Wang, it's been too long. Freak show. Oh, uh, hello. Let me guess. You've worn out your welcome with yet another employer. You know me, another day, another pink slip. They, um, <laughs> what was it they used to say? Can't, uh, handle the wang? <laughs> yeah, something like that, yes. Well, here on the mountain, we can definitely handle the wang. <laughs> Please know that you can stay here as long as you need to rest, recuperate, and plan your next move. Thank you. It's, uh, very much appreciated. There is actually one thing I think you can do for me. Name it. This is gonna sound weird. I very much doubt you can surprise me. Okay, um... I have a young girl trapped inside my head. Oh, I'm so glad you said something. Are you actively transitioning? Have you told the important people in your life? No, uh, no, it, it's not... No, no, I understand. These things can be hard to talk about. No, it's more of a, a, a magical situation. <laughs> oh, wonderful! I'm so happy you're at peace with it, darling. No, I, I rescued a girl. She was mutated in one of Zilla's experiments. In order to save her, a, a Chi Master placed her soul in mine while he fixed her body. Oh, how fascinating! Not really. He was killed, and now she's stuck. I was wondering if you could put her soul back if we were able to locate her body. My darling... Oh, <laughs> sorry, darlings. I would be delighted to help you. Transitions like these deserve to be marked with care. I'm touched you would ask me. Oh, wonderful. Who is this girl? Oh, um, she's the daughter of the Yakuza's big boss. I see. So you have taken something precious to them. Believe me, I'd give her back if I could. You two don't get along? Oh, no, no, she's really, really wonderful. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, I want her the fuck out of my head. Where is her body now? Yeah, so that's the thing. It sort of mutated into this giant monster beast thing and, um, ran away. Oh, Blow Wang. You do get yourself into the most marvelous scrapes. Everyone has a talent. Well... We are simple folk up here on the mountain and do not invite adventure. I won't be able to help you get the body back, but if you can retrieve it and return it to its original form, I can sort out her soul for you. Excellent. Oh, and if you find yourself with time on your hands, speak with Gozu. He has been getting overwhelmed with his duties and may need some help. Overwhelmed by duty? <laughs> that sounds like Gozu. 
I'll check it out. Well, you certainly sound eager to get rid of me. There is one thing I will need in order to perform the soul-joining ritual. And that is? Ancestral Chi. Oh, great. I'll just pick some up from the Piggly Wiggly. Ancestral Chi is coded to each individual person and carried in the spirit of their families. I need a close relative. Or a body part. Hey, no problem. I'll go hack off her grandmother's arm. Mmm, grandmother. No, not enough power. It needs to be a parent or a sibling. She's an only child, and her mom's dead. Hmm, then you're looking for her father, I suppose. And how the fuck are we supposed to find him? Bring me something of his, and I may be able to help you. What, like one of his old playboys? Oh, a magazine would work. Clothing is better. A weapon is best. If you can manage it. Wonderful. We'll get right on that. So, once we find your dad, we need to chop off one of his body parts. I can think of a few that could go. I mean, not the cross. Literally, Okay, they might need to run the other way once you get the body back. Sweet pleasure. Nothing like a fresh clip. Honey, I'm home! Miss me? You have done well to make it this far, Lo Wang, but this is where your journey ends. Really? Bummer. I'll let my travel agent know. What a pity this is your last day alive. You'll never realize that being clever is not the same as being wise. Kobun! Kill this asshole. Something tells me Momushi Heka isn't just going to give us this sword. You worried about losing a fight to a grandmother? Oh, I wanted to make sure you were okay with it if things got messy. The messier the better when it comes to that bitch. Ideas how to get through this thing? Well, that's a Z Secure 9700 lock for starters. And that means? It's the most advanced lock Zilla makes. Unbreakable by almost anyone. I bet my pal Trinai could do it. Trinai? That's Mr. Trotoluene to you. Oh, Trinai Trotoluene. Cute. Hey, I made a chemistry joke, and nothing? Not even a chuckle? I don't do chuckling. If she keeps dynamite around, it'll be in the armory. Take the fun out of anything, even dynamite. Ooh, Grandma, what a big arsenal you have! <laughs> I made a joke about your grandma's arsenal. That is just special. I hope you put that on your resume. Yeah, right. Right after coexists on a mutual mental plane well with others. Three, two, one. Knock, knock, bitch! You 
you seek my master, but you must know that I will never betray him. Oh, I don't doubt that. Unlike you, I understand the value of loyalty and honor. I knew the price of my bargain when I made it. Sure, one child, cash on the barrel head. How did your daughter feel about being pimped out to a sociopath? Sorry, I meant by a sociopath. Oh wait, I guess I mean both. She understood her destiny. To bear a child of greatness is a blessing. Kamiko, a child of greatness? Hey, let's not get carried away. I gave everything I had for that ungrateful shit. Perhaps you will realize her destiny one day. Oh, see, why'd you have to go and do that? Uh, uh, I am willing to die for my ideals. Can you say the same? I'm willing to go for my ideals. That's as far as I go. <laughs> A civil right to the end. At least I'm consistent. Do you have the least shred of honor left in you? Will you finish what I have started? This should do the trick. It is more than I had hoped for. Thank you, Lo Wang. This will do nicely. Give me some time and I will locate this mystery man. Bud face. I see your face still looks like a bud. I like the commitment you're giving that. The goddess told me to inform you if we found signs of the body's whereabouts. That's great. And where is the overgrown meatball? I will mark the location of our last sighting on your map. Well, would you look at you? You know what? I'm gonna upgrade you from worthless piece of shit to just plain old piece of shit. Amiona says you need not fear hurting it. It has been gorging itself on black rain and is practically invulnerable now. Use everything you have to subdue it. It would be my pleasure. Hey, this is my body we're dealing with. Easy on the merchandise. Hey, I don't come down to where you work and slap the, uh, the... The hexachlorobutadine solution? Yeah, the hexachlorobutadine. Out of your... Hand. Man, you are sharp. Can you feel the body at all? Now and then, vaguely. It's getting fainter all the time, though. Like when you sit on your hand and it feels like it belongs to someone else? Yeah, just like that. Only not disgusting. Come on, let's go beat up some of you. Don't sound so eager. Looks like you're growing up nicely. Who are you, my creepy uncle? 
No, I'm the cool uncle who sneaks you beer and lets you drive his pickup. <sighs> Whatever. Listen, Gozu said it's been drinking straight crude. It's not just getting bigger, it's getting stronger. Oh, wonderful. How long will that keep happening? I can't tell. Yeah, you can tell me. I'm a ninja. Do you enjoy being an idiot? <sighs> we need to stop this thing. The sooner, the better. And you never will, you two-timing, low-down, no-good. Oh, you mean I didn't get the body back? Yeah, that's right. Amiona will be displeased. Oh no, what's she gonna do, frown me to death? Do you know where it is? Not exactly, but I know who has it. Zilla. Zilla? Oh, but this is awful. I must tell my mistress immediately. Yeah, don't let me keep you. Are you ready for the next phase in your journey? I'm ready to be done running errands. The path to growth often lies in the direction we least expect. Greet the unusual as an opportunity, not a burden. Hmm. I cannot see the exact location of Kamiko's father. Mamushi Heika left a powerful imprint on this item which is clouding my vision. But I can say with some certainty that you will find him in the general vicinity of the gates. Yeah, yeah, we've already been there. I didn't see any sign of him. The universe places the unexpected in our path to show us its secrets. Perhaps he has recently gone there. Or perhaps you did not know what to look for. In any event, I am certain he is there now. Well, what should I cut off him? Please say his cock, his cock, his cock, his cock. Please, please, please. Any body part will do. Yes! But the hand is usually easiest. Oh, fuck. But you should go now to intercept him in case he is on the move. I think I recognize this area. Yeah, this is definitely looking familiar. Oh, shit. It's Mezu again. Get rid of him. No way. To what do I owe this... pleasure? Oh, I didn't come to see you, you washed-up pile of demon crap. I'm looking for the Yakuza's big boss, the Oyabu. The Oyabu? Oh, do you really think he'd hang around here with ruffians such as myself? So you know him? Oh, he's quite a fascinating character. What will you do once you've found him? Chop a few pieces off him. I only need one, but with this guy, let's just say it's personal. Oh, dear. I don't think he'll stand for that. Everyone has a breaking point. Mamushi Heika certainly did. Nonsense! She would never betray me! Betray him? So, you're... No. It's not possible. There is no point in secrecy any longer. My goodwill attempts have been terminally undermined by my misbegotten offspring. What?! What does a god want with a Yakuza boss anyway? I needed something, she needed something. Oh, I remember now. 
You provided the muscle to keep her in power, and she let you violate her daughter. Cute. I wouldn't expect you to understand. Oh no, I get it. Power for sex. All this derangement in the book. And hey, you even got a kid out of the bargain. She is no concern of yours. Well, I hate to break this to you, but Daddy's little girl is all grown up, and she's not your biggest fan. The feelings of the half-breed are of no consequence to me. I'll kill him. I'll kill him dead. When you're coming back, Dad, I don't know when, but we'll have a good time then. Dad, you know we'll have a good time then. Ah, oh, gets me every time. I'm glad you amuse yourself, sir. The rest of the world laughs at you. Why shouldn't you join in? I'll take laughing stock over rapist any day. It was a business arrangement! You keep digging, buddy. There's a pony down there somewhere. If you've thrown in your lot with my sister, there's nothing I can do for you. She is as duplicitous as she is asinine. Oh, and I'm terribly sorry, but I can't spare any body parts today, Lo Wang. But be sure to come see me after my dear sister hangs you out to dry. I do so enjoy a good laugh. I'll be in Mamushi Haker's old office above the laundry. Whew, there goes the neighborhood. Oh, and just so you know, I do take starch in my shirts, but not too much. Makes me itchy. Have a nice day, dick face. Well, that explains a lot. Yeah, like why Mamushi Heka sent us on that bullshit errand where we accidentally met him. And why I felt like a freak my whole life. Well, I'm glad it was edifying for you, Doctor Fascinating. Remind me not to wrench you space in my head again. I've had enough of your screwed up family. Oh, and I suppose your family was better? I've been on my own since I was five years old. I barely remember them. I've spent three years with mine and I can't forget a moment. Wait a second, you- I meant... 23? No, wait, that's impossible. The collision was five years ago, and Mezu couldn't have met your mom before. Oh my god. Seriously? You, you're three years old. I have a three-year-old running around inside my head. A three-year-old half-demon. Oh, how reassuring. Let's go see your auntie. Maybe she'll be able to add some kind of toxic cherry to this shit Sunday. My bravest warrior. You have returned to me. Could she be a little more smarmy? Shut up. I'm afraid I don't have good news. Frustration is just the universe tickling your belly. I didn't get the hand. You are alive, though. Where there is breath, there is hope. Where there is breath, there are bullshit feel-good platitudes. Have I done something to anger you? No more than anyone else who almost gets me killed. Oh. The Oyabun gave you trouble, then? Only insofar as he's an immortal demon lord. The Oyabun is Mezu. So it is. Wait. You knew? That two-faced, conniving little... It was obvious from the way he conducted his affairs. Let's just say it had my brother's... aroma. So why did you... Oh, you were trying to kill me! Figures. Oh, no. I never meant to harm you, my noble champion. Well, you got a funny way of showing it. I was, however, trying to kill her. Her? Your little hitchhiker. Kamiko. Indeed. And me dying in the process was... A regrettable side effect. I feel absolutely dreadful about it. Oh, you poor thing. But it seems I underestimated you. You chose the path of non-violence. <laughs> As did your brother. No matter. I had hoped to keep my conscience clean on this, but desperate times call for violent deaths. Gozu, dear. Yes, mistress. Can you please kill this man for me? Yes, mistress. Oh, there's a good boy. Goodbye, Lo Wang. Do try to stay dead this time. Hey! Wait! I was... Just a heads up. When I get out of here, I'm planning on destroying your entire family. I will hold your coat. What the hell is 
this? It's sealed with some kind of chi power. So, unseal it. What do you think? You know, your uncle wasn't too shabby with the chi magic. You think his sword could help? I don't see too many other options right now, do you? Hey. You don't think any part of his energy might still be in this thing, do you? Oh, you mean like maybe your old friend could magically but heartbreakingly speak to you from across the grave? You think? Wait, shh. What? Listen. What am I listening to? The sound of gullibility. Whoa. Something's happening with this sword. I know. I'm focusing my chi through it. Hold it out. Okay, there. You... Whoa! Thanks, old buddy. You and your niece make a pretty good team. Huh? Nothing. Weird. What? I thought when we got out of that room we'd be able to teleport, but I still can't feel the statues. It's like something's jamming. Would it be worth some giant spot? <laughs> I should probably destroy them, just in case. Very, very fine. Hunting dickheads. I love the smell of demon guts in the morning. <coughs> there we go. One tower rubbleized. Is that even a verb? It is now. That definitely changed the interference patterns. If you break the other one, I might be able to get us out of here. Destroying things is how I swage my crippling fear of impotence. That's awfully insightful of you. I just figured I'd beat you to it. Life. Boom goes the tower. How's the weather now? Sunny skies, we are cleared for takeoff. Let's go stomp some demon butts. Hey, those are my people. Everyone's somebody's people. It's their fault if they get in my way. I hate to do it, but we need to go see your pop. There has to be another way. I don't like dealing with him any more than you do, but Smith is dead, Gozu hates me, and Amiono is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. You know anyone else that can put your soul back in your body? He'll find a way to make it about him. You guys can have your paper moon moment on your own time, okay? I've got a broken shell of a life to get back to. Mesu, you may be a supernatural pervert, but you had your sister's number. She tried to kill you? What a surprise. Not the first woman to put a hit out on me. And you've come crawling back to ask my forgiveness? Not exactly. More like a favor. Why would I do anything for you? I think we can help each other out. Go on. I have information about Kamiko. I have seen her. In the forest, drinking from the dark pools. Corrupted beyond all recognition. And why did you father her in the first place? The gates must be resealed. I used Amiona before, but she has proven infirm. Yeah, try psychotic. I am made of sterner stuff. I wanted the seal to endure this time, so I planned to fashion it from something which sprang from me instead. It was all for naught, though. Kamiko is beyond hope. Tell him. Really? Do it. Tell him I'm here. You know, that's just her body. Her soul is intact. What? Where is she? Right here. Your mouth was making those nonsensical sounds again. Can you do something about that? She's in my head, dickwad. What? I don't think... <sighs> ah, ingenious. I'm impressed. Better yet, I have a serum that will reverse the damage to her body. If we can administer it, can you put her soul back? Mr. Wang, I believe we have an understanding. And hello! Kamiko, it's good to finally meet you. Even if it is through this lesser creature. 
Fuck you very much, you miserable piece of shit. I oughta... Yeah, she's very touched. Let's get to work. I have dispatched scouts across the breadth of Onishima. Kamiko's body will be found. In the meantime, there is something I need you to do. Oh, now we're favor buddies. Did I miss something? This benefits you as much as me. It simply won't do if we save the universe minutes after my sister destroys it. You have a point. Have you noticed all the crude in the forest? It's been around since the collision. Not at this volume. In the past few weeks, Amiona's priests have been conjuring it everywhere they can. I think they are trying to destabilize the gates. Maybe someone just did a shitty job sealing the gates. The seal would have held if you hadn't meddled in affairs beyond your station. Hey, it was in the service of kicking your ass. I think history will forgive me. We'll have to see about that. Amiona's high priest is out in the forest spawning ooze. Uh, is that a euphemism? Go and stop him, you idiot! Shit! Where'd she find this guy? Hey, Sparky! Something without destroying the universe. How wonderful. Oh, Mezu, you're in such a good mood. Did you just come from strangling some kittens? I'm afraid I have exhausted my stash. Right now, I'm just high on life. If we're still calling it that. Hey, tell me something. What's behind those gates anyway? Why do we need to seal them up? It is impossible to describe in human language. In simplistic terms, it is the shadow of reality. The opposite of everything known. All that is unseen. And what happens if the gates open? Our worlds would be sucked together, bound forever in a chaotic morass. A world without meaning, devoid of shadow and light. And Amiona's been keeping them apart single-handed? No wonder she went a little nuts. She was an unfit vessel. She was always the weakest of us. I love that you're not afraid to be nurturing. It is almost time. You should get your affairs in order, such as they are. Take care of any unfinished business and then meet me back here. Once we begin this, there will be no turning back. Ooh, exciting. Zing has agreed to help us locate Kamiko's body, but he is in a... A delicate situation. He's selling Zilla out. Those who turn on their employers are not often treated well. Tell me about it. Especially if they have no legs. Does make it hard to do a runner. So you can understand his reluctance to transmit this information over Zilla's communications network. Zilla would be on him like farts on Gozu. Indeed. You must go and see him in person. He will direct you to the body. Once you have freed it, meet me at the outer gates. And how the fuck am I supposed to get it there? Thanks to his thirst for black rain, the body will naturally be drawn to the gates. But we must be careful to intercept it before it arrives. If it drinks too deeply, it may become too powerful to control. Wait, wait, wait. Let me make sure I have this straight. I'm gonna free a monster, then keep it away from the thing it wants most. And if I fail, the world ends? We don't go to war with the plan we want. We go to war with the plan foisted on us by supernatural sociopaths. It's not my first rodeo, Skippy. Let's do this.
It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that zing! What's going on, buddy? Hello, Lo Wang. How is Comico faring inside that cesspool you call a brain? It's great! Except for the part where I hate my existence every second of the day. She says she's learned to enjoy it. Surprising, but I am glad to hear it. Please treat her with care. She's the only member of my family who is worth anything. Have you been able to locate her body? I have, but they've been moving it daily, sometimes hourly. Uh, let me see where they have it today. Oh. Oh dear. This does not look good. What? It seems z Corps have been alerted to your presence. You may have a fight on your hands. Keep searching for the body. I'll take care of these guys. Was invigorating. Uh, any luck finding that body? Yes, I'll have the location shortly. Ask him about the gates. Oh yeah, I've been meaning to ask you. Were you there the first time the gates were sealed? What happened? Ah, now there's a tale. It all began twelve eons ago when. Can you give us the thirty-second version? <laughs> You mortals have no attention spans. Uh, we, uh, like, have to go and, uh, save the world and stuff? Very well. All energy in the Shadow Realm is derived from the chaotic forces of the Void. But, unadulterated, those forces subsume us to their primordial flux. That is why Enra launched our war against the forces of chaos, to wrest back control. The battle raged for centuries until my armies prevailed, pushing chaos into abeyance. Hoji then constructed a powerful set of enchanted gates to contain them. And Mezu sealed them with a ritual, using the only thing we had that was powerful enough. Gozu's farts? Amiona's soul. Ah, probably smells worse. The trouble was, we still needed the energy from beyond the gates to power our world. But now it had to flow through Amiona, put an immense strain on her, hence the tears. Which became your fuel. Yes. It is shocking to think about it now. It might have worked had we been modest in our use of it. Instead, Anra, Mezu, even Hoji used the power of Amiona's reign to fuel their desires, building monuments to their own greatness. Then, to protect the flow of energy, they isolated her. Loneliness and sorrow slowly drove her mad. Oji and Enra's death seems to have pushed her past the brink. That's her recent behavior. You mean the sex tape or the trying to destroy the universe? Both. Here, Block B. That's where they're holding the body today. Good luck, dear boy. Don't go and get yourself killed. Now, if you'll excuse me, my public needs me. Challenge. 
Unless you call Zing and have him open the door. Unless I did that indeed. Hey, Zing. You win. Hey, that's my lot. Good artist, Borrow. Great artist, Steel. Hey, uh, can you give me a hand getting in the building here? I left my key in my other pants. You have other pants? Fancy. Are you sick? Okay, give me just one. There. Thanks, buddy. You always keep me ahead of the game. You are lucky I have a sense of humor. Oh, look! There you are! Do you have any idea how weird it is to see myself like this? As a 30-foot-tall monstrosity, I'm actually a little jealous. Come on, there's no time to lose. The only way in there is through Zilla's office. We'll need a keycard. You've been there before? This is my old stomping ground, sweetie. Oh, crap! That sounded like you, didn't it? It kinda did. Never do that again. I promise. I smelled comic books and hand lotion. You lost a hand the last time we met Zilla. I don't recommend testing me again. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. An old man like me is no match for the mighty Lo Wang. But I'm curious. What's your angle here? Why have you come for this monstrosity? Hey, everyone else seems to want her. I just wanted to hang with the cool kids. Turn back, Lo Wang. She is beyond help now. There was a time when I thought this poor thing might be my greatest achievement. But alas, it appears she did not have the inner fortitude. Throw another corpse on the slag heap of progress? Progress requires sacrifice. <laughs> sure, just not by you. I am humanity's last best hope. I am all that stands between us and Oblivion. My methods might appear reckless, but I assure you, under the circumstances, they are vital. That's fucking great. I'll just grab my corpse shovel. When the gates fall, the soldiers of Project Hope will be the only thing that can save us. You would have made an excellent candidate yourself. A little headstrong, perhaps, but I have a chi chip that can fix that. I die first, if you insist. to stop meeting like this. Hey, I know. Wanna go out together? This shithole never appreciated us anyway. Cynicism is the refuge of the morally bankrupt. If you had a single ounce of integrity in your bones... Oh, there are my two little lovebirds. Amiona, what the... Your animus against each other is futile, but I do understand how exciting it must be. Spare us the psychobabble, please. 
Your reliance on violence betrays your inability to process the emotional truth of your situation. What, what emotional, emotional truth? Jinx, you owe me a Coke. <laughs> Both of you. Looks like someone got into Mommy's medicine cabinet. That's the master alarm. The body's containment cell has been breached. Oh, yes. My followers are quite devoted. They were only too happy to volunteer for Project Hope. As I'm sure you can imagine, the chi chips you put in their heads were quite simple for me to take control of. In any event, my... your... our men are freeing the body now. This sounds... bad. Your struggles with one another are at an end. And you can give in to the attraction that has driven it this whole time. Attraction? To this idiot? Oh, assuredly. It is only natural to be drawn helplessly to your opposite. That energy is the creative engine behind all life in the universe, from teen romance to black holes. Are you getting any of this? So rejoice! You need no longer fight the one you most desire. The object of your quarrel is out of your hands, and you are free to spend the end of the world in one another's arms. Guards! I, uh, killed all your guards. All of them? I was on a roll. I'm afraid this is merely a projection, Orochi. I am with the body now. In moments, I will be one with the creature. Then I will fulfill my destiny, and finally take my rest. Goodbye, my friends. Wish me luck. Gozu, dear, are you ready to perform the ritual? This is awkward. Will you let go of me? Not before you kiss me, you fool. Urgh. We've got to get out to the gates. I can have a transport here in a few minutes. That won't be necessary. I have a faster method. Fine. I'll meet you there. Don't do anything rash before I arrive. Who, me? Little old me? Here. We're on the same side now. You should take this. It is imbued with the latest G technology. It could make the difference in defeating the body. You old softy. Is this payback for not making me employee of the month? Get out of here! On my way, Lo Wang. Hold her off until I get there. Yes, sir, Captain Ahab, sir. Can you just resist the temptation to destroy the world for five minutes? Oh, but I so love a good apocalypse. The survival of our species hangs in the balance, you feckless idiotic. Don't forget immature. Do not do anything drastic until we arrive. What's that? <laughs> You're breaking up. <laughs> Asshole. I can still hear you. I know. Bye, sweetie. No way. There you are. Amiona has occupied the body. Oh, was that the giant beast I saw trying to destroy humanity? Small world. When Gazu transferred her soul into it, the strain caused it to mutate yet again. Oh, wonderful. And she's been drinking all the black rain she can reach. She may already be strong enough to destroy the gates. Okay, I'm just gonna come out and say it. I think this bachelorette party has gotten out of hand. You think Smith's antidote will even work on her? It's the only option. Subdue her and administer the cure. If it works, I will place Kamiko's soul back into her body. Then I can use Kamiko for the sealing rite. Use me for... That's his plan? Hey, uh, Mezu, the ceiling business? Is that something Kamiko will, you know, survive? That's none of your concern. Oh, thanks, Dad. Not my... <laughs> Let me guess. No gift on Father's Day this year? Go! You have my back here, right? Oh, yeah. Fuck that fascist prick. I'll stop the body, but I'm not giving it to fucking Mezu. Is it me, or are you growing a conscience? Hey, just don't tell anyone. It's bad for business. Holy oh, smokes! Bitch! She stole my body! Yeah, I know. You're not even going to be right clean that thing. Stop her! Now! What are you waiting for? Dude, stop yelling. In my fucking head. Just you and me. And her. It's nothing like a 
integration clip. Some people. That's it! She's down! Quickly, put the preparation on your sword. Okay, here goes. Thank you. Thank me? For what? Killing me. Who says I'm going to kill? Quickly! The body is dying. We must get Comico into it before it's too late. Amiona! Leave my daughter's body! Then I will extract her. Kill her. Now. Before my father can doom her and trap me. I wish killing you would accomplish something. Is this a party or a funeral? Why the long faces? Uncle Zing? What's going on here? I was attempting to reseal the gates, but this peon has destroyed my best efforts and very likely doomed us all. I just wanted to pet the rabbits, George. You impetuous fool! And the situation does sound a tad bleak. There is another, another way. way. This, this place, place is a is soul, soul realm, realm, is it not? It is. Rather, Rather than sealing, sealing the gates closed with my sacrifice, let us seal them open with my living soul. soul. Utter nonsense. Is it? After all, these are gates, not walls, brother. Perhaps we should align them to their purpose. This world will not survive. This, this world will change. change. But it will go, go on. on. I, I was born of this energy, and I can bend it to my will. Allow me to rectify these wounded worlds to one another. It's what I was born to do. Incredible. I will not be party to this madness. Sometimes madness is the only course open to us. I will help you, child. Okay, Kamiko. You all packed? I try to travel light. Thank you, Lo Wang. You've been a good friend to me, and a worthy partner. Give him hell, okay? You can rely on it. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs>